I am a second year PhD student. I'm an NSF graduate research fellow here in the Interaction Lab and my research interests are long-term health behavior change. So I am inspired by uh, the fact that I have type 1 diabetes and I know firsthand, I've experienced um, what it's like to be diagnosed with a chronic condition. I was diagnosed when I was 17. I would like to use robotics as sort of an in-home extension of, of your nurse and your doctor that can be there as an expert system to help you, uh, help you incorporate these new behaviors and make sure that you can take control of your own health care. And that's a very important thing for me. I was a part of Aggie Women in Computer Science, and most computer science departments have a woman's group. I took to it right away because uh, it was also part undergrads and part grad students. So I had the opportunity to talk to my, uh, older women in computer science who had already gotten their degree, and they were very encouraging. And, and it um, and it's just it's a nice to have a, a social support group and like a group of friends where you don't always have to talk about computer science either. You can just go out and and just you know have that shared experience of of being women in computer science. Further, you get into your degree, the more you're going to see that there are way more options than you thought. And um, especially because the beginning of an engineering degree is so time consuming and stressful that it's hard to see um, the huge amount of choices that you're going to have when you have that degree. Just getting your, your bachelor's degree doesn't mean that you're on one track and you're going to be like that for the rest of your life. Maybe it used to, but it doesn't anymore. Um, and you have uh, you're just sort of narrowed your focus ever so slightly, but there's a huge space of, of potential careers that you can have. I consider myself extremely lucky that I found the thing that combines um, that what I'm good at, my, my computer science degree, and also my personal passion, which is uh, chronic, my, which is you know sharing my experience with a chronic condition in order to make other people's lives better. Mm -hmm.